Because I think that the First Amendment is very important. And okay. So we talk to our staff about um, First Amendment issues and what they can and can't do, what we should and shouldn't say. How's it going, guys? I'm Agassiz Press, coming to you today from the Greenwood Village City Hall in Greenwood Village, Colorado. Um, this building also houses the uh, Greenwood Village Police Department. Sure. Well, it's much warmer in here. It's a cold 30 degrees out there. Thanks. No problem. Take your time. So we found it right over that way. Right to the left. Greenwood Village Citizen Academy. Hello. I'm supposed to uh, hopefully see the lady in the evidence uh, section. Oh, okay. Is that you? No. I will call her for you. Uh, yes, I have Is that a paper? Yes. You mind I, if I take that and I will give yeah, you a call? You can have a seat. But I have some requests here. Have a nice logo back there. Well, you, you need to talk to her. So let me call her and she'll come over, okay? Okay, thank you. And I'm going to take this, okay? Well, I have, uh, to talk to her, I have copy. I want a copy of it and all that. Yeah, I'm going to give it back. Oh, okay. Back. <laughs> okay, hi. I just want to tell her who, who's here for, for her. Yeah, and I want a copy to go with that. I want that. And that, and uh, something else too. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good. Well, it looks like I would have a two out of six chance of guessing which card is yours um, <laughs> there are no cards I don't have a card you don't have a card oh, okay no, so I'm not up there okay well my name's Jason hi Jason nice to meet you I'm Lori Lori nice to meet you that was a nice quilt very cool. So this is the police services waiting area. Let's see what kind of forms they have in here. Um, parent guardian waiver for questioning of minors, I guess. Uh, Miranda warning waiver and uh, statement form. Restrooms. So here we have the office of the city, ma city manager, excuse me.
Christmas tree set up. So this is the uh, city council conference room. I don't know if you guys can see that on the sign. I'm sure you probably can't. Wow, that's a large screen TV. Hello. Can I help you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I thought I had the place all to myself. Oh, no. <laughs> We're here. I'm sorry. No, no problem at all. We're just looking around. Okay. No no reason to bother you. Help yourself. My name's Jason, since we Hi, wound Jason. up. I'm Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. Nice oh, I'm sorry. It's a lot of static electricity. I know. It's dry. Yeah. It's Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I get off the couch. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the worst is when you get up and somebody knocks on the door and you go to look through the peephole and zap your nose. I haven't had that. No, it happens to me like all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It keeps us awake, right? There you go. Thanks, Susan. Appreciate yeah, you. Have yeah, a good day. Have a good day. You too. Okay, so that was Susan in the city manager's office. Very uh, welcoming and accommodating, even though we didn't ask her for anything. So this is the uh, council chambers. Wow. Very uh, progressive logo they have there. So here's the uh, council desk. Old glory, not waving in the breeze, but representing here in the uh, council chambers. Let's have a seat right in the head council chair. Give you an idea of what it feels like to be the boss here in Greenwood Village, or the perceived boss, I should say. And uh, no, it is a nice chambers though. It's a nice room. Good acoustics in here, which is good since they're probably recording me, audio recording me right now. some vending machines and lockers, employee rights notices. And then here's the court clerk of the municipal court. There's some uh, collecting socks for donation. Looks like they got a pretty good, uh, pretty good supply here this year. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you today? Good. Good. 
This is the administrative services desk. Do you mind telling me your name and what you do here? Uh, my name is Jackie. I'm, I do the liquor licensing. Liquor licensing. Yep. Cool. Okay. Very good. Yep. Important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of people like to drink. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people like to drink. Lots of businesses, I guess, depend on the revenue for... Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I actually gave it up a while back, so... But we still appreciate what you do. All right, thanks. Keep them honest. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, so here we have Parks, Trails, and Recreation. On the very, very edge. Okay. <laughs> no, pardon me. Temporarily away from the counter, please ring the bell for immediate assistance. Parks, trails, and recreation. Hi. Hello, how are, how are you? you? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you for asking. Good, so I'm wondering uh, if you can just tell me, well, uh, my name's Jason, what was your name? I'm Julie. Julie, pleasure to meet you. I'm the admin supervisor ben, from nice Parks to meet you. Hi, Ben. And what is it that this department handles here at this? Office. So this department is partly here and partly at another facility. We do recreation programming, art programming, we maintain the parks. Okay, gotcha. We include the snow plowing. Is that done rangers? We For, don't have rangers. You don't have no. rangers here, no. No, there are parks, trails, and recreation in place. Gotcha, okay. So basically public works for the parks. Yeah, kind of. Sort of that yeah. kind of thing. The public, there, we do also have a public works department. Gotcha, okay. Very good. Well, I appreciate your cordial demeanor and your nice professionalism you. and your beautiful smile, nice and we thank you. you very much. Have a great afternoon. You do the same. Thank you. So this is community development. There's some puppies playing on the screensaver here. Pretty cool. You guys, you guys hand? There's a bear in here, and who's poking it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say poking the bear. I said, oh. Oh, cool. Cool. You guys need a hand or anything? No, we're actually, I appreciate you asking, but no, we're just looking around. And uh, I, can, I guess, can you tell me what your name is and what this department does here? Yeah, my name is Ray Perez. Ray, nice to meet nice. you. My name's Jason. Jason. Yeah, nice to meet you. This could be development. What we do, we harbor the building program and the planning program. Okay. So when it comes down to like fire ratings, building safety, making sure that they're being built in a safe manner, gotcha. uh, we inspect, supervise that. So you kind of oversee the building department? Well, I personally oversee the pro, uh, neighborhood services department. Okay. That's all the permits that come in. Uh, we get those processed. Okay. And I also do like the code enforcement side as well. Code enforcement for residential and commercial? Correct, yeah. Very cool, right on. And are you, how many inspectors do you have? Two. Two? Yeah. So you're busy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would imagine. Or what is it, mean and lean, right? Yeah, mean, <laughs> lean and mean, lean there you mean, go. Yeah. yeah, well that's not a bad thing to be. No, yeah. it's job security, so. Definitely. All right, guys. Well, all right, well, I appreciate all your assistance. We appreciate yeah. your friendly demeanor. And yeah, of course. Thank you very much. If you guys need anything, let us know. Thank you. And you have an excellent holiday. Uh, thank you. All right, stay safe. Thank you. Let's see what we have here. So, tax license application, residential solicitation permit. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. You need anything? Yeah, I just had a quick question for you. Yes. My name's Jason. Hi, Jason. I'm Crystal. Nice to meet you, Crystal. You too. Uh, can you just tell me what your position is here? Um, I'm the operations, the records manager. Records yeah. manager. Yeah. Good. Well, um, my question is, uh -huh. is uh, usually some police departments will have like a, a complaint accommodation form, which is a combined form. Yes. Do you guys have that type we, of form? We do. You do? Yeah. Can I possibly get a copy of one? Yeah, let me um, see if I can find a paper copy because we keep it on our website too. Okay. So people can get to it real easily if they want. But let me give me e Easier for some, maybe more difficult for others. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So just give me a minute sure. here and let me uh, see if I have one. Appreciate that. Um, yes. Yeah. Let me just go print one for you, okay? And you know what? Just another question. I don't know if you're the person to speak to if you're in charge of that or not. 
Um, but I see you have a bunch of forms out here and some public information pamphlets yeah. and that kind of thing. Um, it might be a good idea to keep a copy of that complaint Absolutely. commendation form out here in the lobby. Sure. So maybe that's something you could speak to. Is that, would you make that decision or? I wouldn't make the decision, but I could certainly recommend it. Okay, that'd okay. be great. I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Let thank you. you. Sure, thank you so much. We have one of each. Oh, okay. But I brought you both. Gotcha. Okay, excellent. I appreciate that. Sure. And um, yeah, so you'll try to yeah, yeah, speak to somebody and see if that's something that can yeah. be left out here. Because you know what it is? Sometimes people come in sure. and they might not feel comfortable. And then perfectly yeah. forward with you, um, some of the police officers, if like if they, if they come in to talk to somebody, a police officer might say, well, I'll sit down and speak to you. Sure. And kind of be a little difficult about just giving them a form and setting sure. them loose they with it. You know what I mean? They might want to do that. So. And that's yeah. why we put it on our website, but I understand that everyone has access to the internet. Right. Yeah. Some people might want to take it home and fill sure. it out or sure. discuss it with somebody else or that kind of thing. So it'd be a good Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. I think it's a great idea. So not to put you on the spot, do you think if I come back in maybe a month? That might give you enough time to see if... I would think that's probably enough time. Okay. Yeah. So we'll come back and check on you. Okay. All right. No, but All I appreciate right. you've been very cordial, very professional. Okay. I appreciate that. Good. And that's, your that's smile is very, very much appreciated. Thank you. All right. And Thank we hope you. you have a wonderful holiday Thank and a happy new year. Same. Thank you All so right. much. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So they actually have separate forms for the uh, complaints and accommodations. So we got a copy of both. And... Uh, We'll come back after the holidays and see if maybe there's a small stack of them out here, readily accessible to the public. I think this is the only room I didn't see. This is a nice meeting room here. Good, how are you? Oh, I can't think of a time I've been any better. Oh, yes, you can. No, I can't. Yeah, we can all think of a time we were better at our age. Things are good. <laughs> my name's Jason. Hi, Jason. My name's John. Pleasure to meet you, John. Ben, nice to meet you. Hi, Ben. John. Jason. Derek. Good to meet you, Derek. Nice to meet you. Can I ask what you gentlemen do here? I'm the city manager. You're the city manager. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice. Well, yeah. congratulations on that. You have a, uh, seems like you have a wonderful city to manage. It is an incredible city. Yeah. yeah. You have a bunch of very happy, friendly people working here, from my experience. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you should know that. I'm sure you already do. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. It's a great community, and you know, I think we're doing pretty good. Talk Seems that way. Oh, we just came by to take a look at your building. Okay. And um, since you're the city manager, I'll be perfectly honest with you and tell you what we're doing, because you probably already know. First Amendment audits. First Amendment audits, yeah. You and you guys passed with exuberant flying colors. That if, that, if that matters to you or not, I don't know. It but matters because I think that the First Amendment is very important. And okay. so we talk to our staff about um, First Amendment issues and what they can and can't do, what we should and shouldn't say, okay. where we should go. Well, I can tell you they were all paying very close attention at the meeting. That's good. Yeah. No, and they're doing a wonderful job. That's good. Are you here local? I do. Well, I live probably half an hour away. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. No, but it's nice. It's nice to come in. It really is as a member of the public. It's nice to come in and be treated that way. And even if there is our meetings beforehand, letting people know how to act and how to behave and how to handle the public, we really appreciate that because to go into your government building and try to get some services or try to get some information and get an attitude, which did not happen here, um, you know, it's not, not nice. I would honestly, you know, I would honestly say that it's not a, we didn't have a meeting. I mean, we do training on all kinds of things. There's a lot of very important amendments up there at the top, from the first to the fourth. Oh, absolutely. And so we talk about it a lot. We're a service-oriented uh, facility that's here to meet the needs of our citizens. Okay. And we're not here to do anything other than that or make it hard. Right. Right. You know, no. And it, I hope that's what you felt today. Well, I did, and I think I, yeah, no, and and but you know, a lot of people. That's a lot of people's. People have mission statements. 
Uh -huh. And people have ideas about being that way, but it doesn't always in practice work out that way 100% of the time. But I've got to tell you, of all the city halls I've gone to, yours is up there in the top three for sure. That's, that's really good to outstanding. You have an here. extremely friendly staff. It's really good. Um, yeah, no, just very nice, very accommodating. It's really community development was friendly. That's my department. Bunch of smiles and community <laughs> development, just like everywhere else, yeah. I mean, you even have the police department being friendly. That's not an easy task. I don't, you know, I don't know if you have anything to do with that or not, but. I'm familiar with how they operate. And uh, I would say that just because you wear a uniform doesn't make it any different. No. And this is not a confrontational issue. The First Amendment is very, very clear. Uh, most people lose sight of other things that are connected to the First Amendment, like the right to assemble. Right. Absolutely. Okay, there's a lot of pieces. Freedom of religion. Other freedom of press, freedom of speech. I can say what I want. I can go wherever I want. Right. 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 So, yeah, I think I've had a little bit of influence over there. And, you know, it's just hard because sometimes that little thing right there does freak some people out. I'm still trying to figure out why. I really honestly am, not to be difficult, but I remember a time, and you I'm sure do as well, um, I'm going to be 50 tomorrow, so I remember a time when you would have a camera out in public. I've been doing video and photography for the past 30 years, I actually went to the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan in New York, yeah. uh, graduated with a degree in photography. Um, but people would be out on the street taking pictures or taking video and everybody would jump in front of the camera and say, hi mom, and want to be on the video and there was no fear and there was no apprehension and there was no... And I think it's an irrational fear. Can't disagree with you. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. And to me, this, the camera, is an objective witness that never lies. So the more cameras, the better. All it does is tell the truth. It, it gives you arguably a one-dimensional look at a three-dimensional world. Um, well, or two-dimensional. But yeah. it does gather a tremendous amount of facts that, that can be often misrepresented. Or beneficial. Yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm a believer. I can't tell you how many times, um, I wouldn't even know, but I can't tell you how many times civilian or security cameras that are privately owned have helped out law enforcement in solving crimes and figuring things out. What can I do to help you here further today? Nothing. What do you need? You've been extremely helpful. I think just, just conversation's helpful. I think a lot of problems can be solved that way and a lot of misunderstandings can be worked out by people just communicating with each other. And that seems to be a lost art these days for some reason. You know, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. I'd love to go see the video. All right, well, since you... YouTube channel or something? Yeah, it's Amagansett Press. Amagansett is a town on Long Island in New York, okay. where I'm originally from. Uh, so it's A-M-A-G-A-N-S-E-T-T. -T. Press. Press. Cool. If you just put in Amagansett, it'll pop right up. We, we just passed 80,000 subscribers on YouTube. Right. So we have a pretty good following, probably anywhere from 10 to 50 to 100,000 people will see this video. All right. So... And you guys have done outstanding. Thanks. So Pleasure since we're all smiling and happy and liking each other, I'll let you guys get back to your day. John? Jason. Jason. Yeah, no, and it really is a pleasure. And I really honestly and sincerely, and I hope you take it that way, you're doing a fantastic job. And your staff is doing a fantastic job, and we, we really, really appreciate that. I will let them know, and I appreciate your comments more than you know. Very good. Thank you very much, sir. You, you have a good day. Take care. Well, all right, guys, that's the uh, Greenwood Village City Hall in Greenwood Village, Colorado, and Police Department. Um, that was absolutely fantastic, I got to say. Um, now, as he told us, they do discuss these things, they prepare for these things, um, and you could kind of tell that when we were walking around that these people were uh, not about to make a mistake. And uh, that's okay. I mean, as long as the training's there and as long as the education's there and as long as the public is being treated properly and uh, being treated well, that's exactly what we're hoping for. And this was fantastic. And by luck, we ran into the city manager. Um, you know, I think he appreciates what we do, uh, but may be a little apprehensive about it um, because of the way certain people do what they do. I don't know. Um, but in any event, he was cordial. He was helpful. And... Uh, what else can I say? Greenwood Village, City Hall and Police Department get a pass uh, from me. So of course, as usual, let chime in. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, share your ideas, your thoughts, and your questions with us. Uh, but for now, I guess that's gonna wrap things up here at the Greenwood Village City Hall. So coming to you from Greenwood Village, Colorado, watching the Watchmen. Amagansett Press, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. <laughs>